One, two. Yo, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another Aaron's Aquarium Friday afternoon. Like, shut that door for us, please, mate. Friday afternoon live stream. Mickey boy, Mick. Yo, yo, yo. Seen your comment this time, mate. Just clocked it now at the corner of my eye, so stop whinging. <laughs> right, guys. I don't know how well this live stream is going to run today because I've just seen on the screen now that I'm getting a bit of an error when it comes to um, the internet connection. So I don't know how well it's going to run. Let me just check everything on here. Audio's all right, though. Hey, at least we've got one thing right. Got one thing right for once. We've got some audio. Right. So today, it's more just, I'm just going to just have a bit of a laugh with everyone, to be honest, today. Well, just like always. Nothing special. I did want to uh, basically allow... <laughs> Do me a favor. <laughs> Close that. <laughs> Um, I did want to um, have a bit of a, just like maybe get some people in for guests and just have a chat with people and stuff like that. But problem is, is the fact that the internet is playing up by the looks of it. Should we just make that op op that screen with all my stuff on. Just make it bigger and then just copy it. No, 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 the other one. Sorry, I've got a, I've got a producer now. <laughs> and he's just doing everything for me. The, that one, just make it bigger and then you can see what everything is and then just copy it on your... Do you know what I mean? So, top one will be... I can't remember, I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> so, who's in? So we've got... Um, who's in? Bungle83, met that guy in person, finally. He came down to the shop last week before we all got put on lockdown. Who else have we got? Mickey boy, Mick. See, two shout outs for you today, mate, because I didn't shout you out last week and you went all. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll have to end this stream to start another stream. So just set it all up as it, as it is. And then I'll, I'll probably just carry on with this one just for, for now. And then we'll use yours later. Right. Who we got? So. Who's this? Tom Littler has put, first time watching um, as live as I'm always working. Shout out to Aaron, Aaron, whatever he's put. Hope you're, hope you're keeping well. Keep up the good work. Hope to come over to see your shop soon. Well, fingers crossed. We won't be locked down forever. And then you can all come down to the shop at your leisure. So on the subject of the shop, um, obviously at this moment in time, we've decided to close the shop to public. So you can't just come down and come in. Now, both me and Ben, we have high risk children. Um, we've both got children that can be, you know, severely affected by coronavirus. So we've decided to not um, open the doors for people to just walk in anymore. That being said, we are allowing people to come down to the shop um, you know, ring up first and anything that they need, you know, if they need some food or additives or anything like that, you know, they can sort of like pre-order them, so to speak, and then we'll bring them outside the shop, sort of like place them on the floor, they can then collect them and do it that way. So that's the way we're sort of like doing it when people want to get something today. When it comes down to stuff that, you know, obviously, you, you, you know, you're not bothered about waiting for a day or two, then obviously the website is still functioning as normal. Everything's still fine. Couriers and delivery people are all doing their jobs as normal to a point like next day services are being sort of like um, segregated for, you know, for more um, um, d demanding things, you know, like medication and stuff like that. So we can no longer send livestock out because um, parcel force and rail mail and stuff like that are not guaranteeing next day at the moment and APC who are our livestock um, uh, courier service are not accepting fish or corals at the moment so livestock we can't do but we can do all of your essentials so if you need to obviously get fish food calcium magnesium all those different types of things that is still available so there you go so 
I'm doing the live stream earlier today because obviously there's no real reason for me to be down here at the moment, you know, other than to just do a few videos and whatever else. So I don't really want to be down here until nine o'clock tonight, if I'm honest. <laughs> so let's have a look who's in. So what if, if you, oh, why is that just Pete? Your bar. Is that just you moving your keys? Fans. <laughs> it is as well, isn't it? Oh. Anyway, uh, Bungle 83, do we get free coffee when you're back open? Obviously, of course you do. Got a nice brew machine there. You can have a coffee, you can have a hot chocolate, you can have a combination of the two and have a mochaccino, you can have a latte, you can have a cappuccino, you can just simply have a tea. Whatever you want, you can have it when the doors open back up. So, can't wait for lockdown to end, dying to see it and spend. That's what we like to hear because by the time this lockdown's over, we're going to need you to spend <laughs> a lot, which leads me on to something. We've got something for you right now. Can you do me a favor, mate? Grab me the, a couple of those ICPs. So we've got something for you as a little incentive to go over to aaronsaquarium.com and buy stuff, <laughs> basically. I'll just wait until he comes in. So, um... Let's see, let's see. I've just seen somebody mention my hat. DJ has put nice hat, stay healthy. The only reason I've got my hat on is because if you have a look at the side, I'm growing my hair and the top section isn't the best. <laughs> so I'm wearing a hat at the moment. Um, yes, so what we're going to be doing from now until we run out, we've got all of these free Fauna Marin ICP tests. We've got quite a few of them here. So what we're going to be doing for customers who purchase products over at aaronsaquarium.com, randomly, because obviously we don't have hundreds of them, randomly, we're going to put one of these in. So you might be a lucky person to get yourself a free ICP test kit. So we're literally just going to ro randomly throw them in until we run out. And then once we run out of ICP tests, we've then got a few other things to randomly throw into people's um, deliveries, products, boxes, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So if you do buy something on errandsaquarium.com, you might find an ICP box. Let me catch back up with a the chat then. Right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bottle of Corona. Do you know what? I was just speaking to Ben then about Corona. Corona at the moment is the only beer currently available in some of the supermarkets and it's discounted because people are just crazy nuts and they think that Corona beer is associated with the coronavirus. Don't be silly. <laughs> but it's good for people that do drink Corona and are not silly because now they're getting cheaper beer. <laughs> um, do you keep the reef bot in back stock? Yes, we currently have reef bots in stock right now. So if you need one, it's in stock. It can be shipped out to you on Monday for delivery Tuesday, obviously, as long as the uh, the delivery company will deliver it the next day. If not, it'd be Wednesday. But yeah, we've got them in stock right now. So if you want one, it's all there. So we said that. Um, Tom C. So there you go, Tom. Um... Jason Spooner said, can I still buy fish? I need a yellow tang. You can do. So if you come down and you need, obviously, your essentials and stuff like that, we can bag you up a yellow tang as well and bring it out to you. We've got two yellow tangs in stock at the moment. So, yeah, you can come down. Obviously, ring us first before you come down, um, and then we'll obviously prepare everything. Obviously, you can only come down to the shop if it's for essential reasons. Um, so, uh, so, you know, don't come down if you're just coming for the fish. Come down, obviously, if you need some fish food or something like that. Fish food's only, like, anywhere between $5.99 and $10.99. So, just saying, grab a pot of fish food as well. <laughs> um, let's see if we can catch back up again. Steve Connolly, I like the Haribo I get in my delivery. Yes, uh, that's Ben's thing, that, because he likes sweets and he keeps throwing pe Haribos into the boxes and people seem to like it. So we might do that a bit more. Oh, fruity bar. 
right, sir. Thank you. I love these. I'm always eating out. I've just noticed last one I was eating chocolate. Now I'm eating a flipping cereal bar. Mmm, decent. Are they really the similar price? Um, two times at two XR fifteens or refled LEDs are similar price. Are they really? If they are, go for the XR fifteens. Got you covered. <laughs> um, Christopher Day, any rec recommendations on a UV sterilizer for my Purple Pond S Max five hundred? Um, I have no clue how big that tank is. Um, I'm assuming 500 represents its literage, so it's 500 liters. If so, then maybe the D&D, &D, um, one of the D&D &D UV sterilizers, I can't remember the size. I've got the 20, I think it is, the 20 watt version on my 600 liter tank. I don't think it's big enough, if I'm honest. Um, I think I need a bigger one. Um, so... Yeah, I'd look at one of the D&D &D ones, um, Tropic, uh, TMC, Tropical Marine Center, they do a Vecton UV, which has sort of like, it's good because you have barbs that go in, in the top and out the bottom, so it's, it's dead easy to sort of like, if you want to link two together, you could have it, you know, linked up quite easily, and stuff like that, and then if you really want to spend some money, and if you really want to go to town on a UV, then there's one called a Trop. Tronic UV. It's about 86 watts and it's a beast. It's a proper beast and it's only small, like that big. But it's going to rock you a couple of hundred quid. What? Ben. <laughs> Mika. <laughs> so, I'm going to say this in public now because I'll never ever be able to live it down as long as I live. The other day, <laughs> so I've got a little special Aaron's Aquarium star story for you now, because Ben, a Mickey boy Mickey who is on the chat at the moment, keep giving me little jabs and they'll never stop until I make it public and then they've got no more ammunition to use against me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Right. I made my first mistake. Well, actually, it was the second time I've done it, but this was massive, this one. I made my first mistake in the shop recently. So I was doing a water change on the coral bays and I obviously took, take, took out all of the water that I needed to take out. And then we've got a system in the shop of pipes going around the shop. So basically to refill all of the tanks in the shop, all we've got to do is turn a valve. This is where we get into the little story. What did I do? Drained all the coral bays down, did a nice water change, turned the valve on so that the valve just literally pumped salt water, salt water back into the coral bays and walked away and completely forgot. <laughs> I literally forgot what I was doing. I forgot I was doing a water change and I walked away. We was in the, we was in the studio and um, we just saw... <laughs> A bit of water on the floor. Bearing in mind, the coral bays are like way over there and there was water there. And it was like, oh, what's going on? We ran out and the shop was flooded, like flooded to the point where like, as Mickey says, I needed to put waders on. <laughs> I ended up basically at dumping 500 litres, 500 litres of salt water on the floor. <laughs> Major rookie mistake. Major rookie mistake. That wet dry vacuum cleaner has never worked so hard in its life. It took me two hours to clean it up. Me and um, with a lad that we've got working with us took us two hours to clean it up. Do you know what Ben did? He went out. Didn't even help. Just went going out and left me to it. Fair enough. Wait till the day that he spills something. I'll be like, oh, see you in a bit. <laughs> when that day ever comes. When that day comes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there you go. It's out in the public now. You two can stick it. You can't flipping use it over here anymore. <laughs> um, 
Aaron, or oh Aaron, flipping it, you got me saying Aaron now. Um, Aaron, hope your shop manages. Unlucky start. Yeah, it's definitely the wrong time to start a shop, 100%. You know, we're just going to keep battling through. If you guys can just support us as much as possible, any purchases that you're going to do for your aquarium, do them there on aaronsaquarium.com. That would be awesome. Now, do you like what I was saying about the free ICP test? I'm going to get Ben now to use his little magic finger. Go on to the thingy and uh, get the ICPs up. <laughs> so like I was saying, free ICP test. Even if you don't get one of these for free in your box, has it run out? Is that why it's not working? Yeah, if you don't get one of these for free in the box, that we do sell them on the website. So, you know, you can get them. And the great thing is the 20 quid, 20 pounds. That's it. ICP test for just 20 pounds. You have to bring the mouse over here. Yeah. So yeah, just 20 quid. Mm. Look at everyone laughing at me now. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> Isn't it? There you go. So there you go. Look at that. Just like magic. Seamless. Normally I do it a lot quicker. <laughs> So yeah, over on the um, website in a moment, click on to um, thingy for me, OBS, to the streaming software. Yep. So, let's hope this works. Oh, it worked! Get in, check that out, boom, it worked. So over on the website right now, if you do wanna do an ICP test, if you've never done one before, or you do them on a regular basis, we now have the Fauna Marin ICP test available on the website for just £19.99, pence, cheap as chips. Now, obviously, during normal time, during normal hours, the turnaround time was around seven days. So if you sent it off on a Monday, you normally had your results on a Monday. But obviously, with everything's going on with Corona at the moment, that might be a little bit different. I don't know. But... That's how it's been so far. It's been pretty good, to be honest. So uh, so there you go. Ben Chaplin has dropped himself a super chat, which gets him a big old shout out. Ben Chaplin, you're a legend. Thank you so much. And Ben has put, um, what all-in-one all tanks would you recommend? Benjamin. All-in-one, please. We do, in fact, have two decent small all-in-one tanks available on the website. Sorry, I've just got to leave that for a minute. Let's see. I'll just go on the aquariums because it's got the thingy on there as well. Well, there's one. Anyway, we'll start with this one. So this is a pretty decent all-in-one aquarium. Build quality is fantastic. It's a cube aquarium. It's the water box cube. So you can get this in a 10 gallon and a 20 gallon aquarium, which is, I don't even know what that is in liters. You're talking like 50, 60 liters or 70, 80 liters, something like that, I can't remember. But yeah, so you can get it um, in the 10 and the 20 gallon and they're an all in one. So in the back, they have a sump built into the back of the aquarium so and not only that the great thing about it is it has a filter sock like a proper filter sock you know not sponges or anything else like that the the water when it goes into the back actually goes over a filter sock which is pretty cool then it's just a standard three chamber so you've got your filter sock chamber then you've got a center chamber for whatever you want you know if you put a, put a skimmer in there or something like that and then a the third chamber for your return so that's a pretty decent all-in-one system because the 10 gallon tank is 130 quid, 130 pounds for that beautiful little cube, spot on. And then obviously we also have, we also have another all-in-one system, which is super famous on my channel because I've been running one for a while. I've actually just brought the Fluval Evo down to the shop. It's actually now on the desk. Um, in the shop running 
Um, this guy right here, this is the Fluval Evo. Now this is a proper cool little tank as well. This is a little bit different to the water box because this one's sort of like a peninsula style tank. This one is a rectangular tank and at the back of the rectangle, so to speak, that's where your filtration is. So you have that more peninsula type tank that you can just put on your desk. As you can see at the back here, it's got, you know, on one side you can add, you know, a skimmer and then you've got this filter block. You can put your heater and your return pump in the final chamber. So it's a pretty good all-in-one system to get you going. Now I know firsthand that this Fluval Evo is decent because I run one myself. You know, it is a decent little tank. We've also just got in this week the Fluval Edge C or the Fluval C Edge. And it's the 123 litre one. So it's about this big and it's proper cool. It is really cool because it's a bow front tank. So rather than like traditionally when a bow front bows from left to right, Fluval, what did I say? Fluval Flex, Fluval C Flex, not Edge. <laughs> Where'd I get Edge from? There is a Fluval Edge in there. Yeah, so I'm not making it up. <laughs> yeah, so we got the Fluval Flex, sorry, which is a bow front tank, but it bows from top to bottom, whereas traditional bow front tanks bow from left to right. Proper good, especially if you've got the stand, the proper fluval stand, because the tank sort of like bows around like that, and then the stand curves inwards and outwards. Looks wicked. I'm actually going to be doing a setup video of that fluval flex very soon, so keep an eye out for that. I've got like a little mini update coming out on Sunday for the fluval Evo, because obviously the Evo's down here now. So I'm just going to show you where the Evo's up to. Um, since moving it. Obviously, I've had to break it down to bring it here. So just a little bit of a catch up of how the Evo's getting on. Adam Peacock has just dropped himself a super chat and he's clearly on an iPhone or some sort of Apple product because he's just been skanked a penny. <laughs> mate, nice one. And he's used one of those little crazy stickers. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Right, let's have a look. Wow, there's 120 people watching can tell it's locked down <laughs> but in the afternoon we got this many people watching let's see right so mark has just left a comment and supposedly this is his third and final time but you know what this is his final time we'll we'll see how we'll see how true that is i'm not going to read it out no nah, i'm only messing <laughs> He said, um, I'll try a third and final time. Keep the coral, uh, corals up for sale under the condition you'll ship them when things are back to normal. You've got loads of loyal people that will buy and support you. It is an idea, but I don't really want to hold people's money at ransom. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those where I'm not, they're not going anywhere. You know what I mean? The corals are not going anywhere. They're all sat there. You know, in fact, they're just encrusting or growing or something. So whatever it was today, it'd probably be even bigger when the time comes for you to, to have whatever it is. So I could take your money, but I'd rather not. You know what I mean? I don't want to hold your money at ransom. Um, if I can give you something, I'll give it you. If I can't, then I'd rather wait. You know what I mean? Best way to do it, I think. Um, let's have a bit of a catch up. And thanks for the comment, by the way. Sorry if I didn't see the other ones. If you ever are struggling to get a comment to me and I don't see it, there's two options for you. Number one, if you put at the at sign, Aaron's Aquarium, but make sure you spell it right, um, you'll be able to sort of like make my um, name glow orange. I think you can only do that on a computer though, not on a phone. So you can do that. And if I see it, then obviously the orange will catch my eye. So I'll be able to read it. I can only see 10 comments at any one time. So if it's like, if it rolls up when I turn around, then I've missed it. So, you know, you can do it that way. Or like what Adam Peacock did and also what Ben Chap um, Chaplin did is you can use a super chat function. Basically the super chat function, what that does is it highlights your comment in big bright letters, just like what Adam Peacock does has done. And Hemlock, a.k.a. EKD, he's changed his name. What those two guys have just done, you can just put something down, 
and then it will glow up dead bright like Adams is in green and EKB is in blue and then I'll see that and then obviously it'll draw my attention to it and then I'll read it. So just in case you're ever struggling and you really, really, really want something answered, good way of doing it. So what have you two guys just put? Adam Peacock's put, no, I'm on Android. They just cost 99p. All right, every penny counts. Hope everything is going well and carry on doing well. All right, I didn't know you could do that on Android. It's been, it's been a while since I've actually checked into it, so there you go. But you're a legend, you know you are. I, I can't wait actually until everything's back to normal so you can come down and I can show you the place. EKD, what's happening son? It's been a while, what have you put? Been a while, it has. <laughs> I'll be back reefing soon. Are you all settled in now? Because I know that you, you had to move for your job, didn't you, a while ago? Are you all settled back down now so that you can start reefing again? Good to see you back, mate. Um, is that a, a uh, George Lorenzo hat? I don't know. Got it from Wish. <laughs> I got it off Wish for a quid. <laughs> I just liked it and it was on Wish, so, but I've never used Wish before, so I'll spend a quid and see what happens. It came and I like it, so yeah. Wish, gold air, mint, quid for a hat. <laughs> Might be. Mm. Josh Jones, Mickey wants your deal on the Fauna Marin balling light set. I like the idea of not having loads of bottles, trace elements like ATI. And did you get the stickers? The balling light set. Oh, you're talking to me. Right, sorry. <laughs> Mickey. Nobody calls me Mickey. Nobody. So I'm just like, I thought you were talking to Mickey by Mickey within the chat. Um, the balling light set is 90, £99.95, and pence, if I remember rightly. And it's it's awesome. It is good. JB Aquatics, if he's if he's in here at the moment, he's just bought one from the shop um, and he's using it. Basically, it's just three containers. Calcium, alkalinity and magnesium. Each one doses to its own regimen. You don't have to, you know, dose X amount of this and then the same of everything else. It's like, if you need to dose 40 milliliters of alk or... Ah, he's, he's getting it now. He's starting to get it now. He's, you know, he's getting there. Yeah, if you need to dose 40 millilitres of alk, but you only need to dose 20 millilitres of calcium, that's all you need to dose. You know what I mean? So it's pretty good. And because it's only using three heads, obviously you've got a spare head available. Um, the great thing about the, ball, the balling light set is as well, is it also comes with the trace elements, these trace elements here. So <clears throat> what you do is, is you put the trace elements in with your alkalinity and your calcium. So it's like, it's a balling system, but you're also adding things like strontium, boron, bromide, potassium, zinc, iodine, all of these different things you're adding with your calcium and your alkalinity. So it's a really good sort of like simple way of just controlling every element in your tank. <clears throat> Let's have a quick look. Oh, the thing, what did you make, man? Is it a mochaccino? <coughs> Sit me right in the back of the throat. Corona. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Don't want to cause panic. Um, the best titanium heater for a Purple Pond Reefer 250. Uh, that's going to be, what size is that one? 150 watt? Yeah. It's 200 watt. 250 a litre, yeah. I'd probably say, if you're going to go with a titanium heater, obviously titanium heaters don't have thermostats in them. As soon as you plug them in, they just get hot, simple. So if you're going with a temperature controller as well, then I would probably say go with the Shigo, or however you pronounce it, Shigo, titanium heater alongside the D&D &D temperature controller, or whichever temperature controller, you know, you have access to. Um, and then, you know, that way, you're definitely covered. You know, if you if we have a real cold snap, which we don't really normally have in the United Kingdom, but I don't actually know where you're from. Um, we don't really have massive, massive cold snaps, but you know, you've got that extra power there if you need it. <clears throat> oh, well, over 40 gallons. I got a clue. <laughs> I don't. 
Actually, I think actually water box do water box do all in one systems up to seventy gallons. I think if I remember rightly, I think it's the seventy point three AIO. All in one, yeah. Got it right. Never very never very good with abbreviations. Have a look at the water box. I haven't got it on the website at the moment, otherwise I'd show it you. But have a look at the water box aquariums marine. 70.3 AIO. That's an all in one system. Anything with AIO in the title of the water box aquariums are all in one systems. Um, so the, the number, the first number represents how many gallons it is. The point whatever represents how big it is. So if it's 70, it's 70 gallons and it's a three foot. So 70.3 is a 70 gallon three foot aquarium and it's an all in one system. So that's how you work it out. So yeah, have a look at all the water boxes. Um, again, by the looks of it, you're not in the UK, so you can't get one off me, but you know you can get a water box from Boardline anywhere nowadays. They're a pretty good tank. Build quality is spot on. Cabinets are proper. The cabinets are decent. Like when you knock on one air cabinets, it's proper. What did I do then? <laughs> Unlike this build quality. <laughs> Right, let's see what else have we got. Biker Life has put help. Oh, sorry, I need help building my Purple Pond 250 equipment wise. Uh, what, what do you need help with? You know, literally everything. You know, if you want lights, how much money have you got to, how much have you got to spend on everything? Because I could go like, yeah, you know, get yourself this, that and the other and it's way, way above what you want to spend or might, I might go, yeah, get this, that, and the other thinking you don't want to spend a lot and go, oh, but, you know, is it not anything better than that? So give me an idea of how much you want to spend, and then we can sort of, like, work out what's best for you. Um, what salt, so who's this? Robert Ward, what salt would you recommend that has good levels? <laughs> What do you mean by good levels? There's two options when it comes to good levels. You can go natural seawater, which is like just you sort of like your normal levels, which you'd expect, you know, to find in the sea. There are thereabouts, ever so slightly elevated in comparison to the sea, but close to natural seawater levels. Or do you want elevated levels? <clears throat> so do you want like higher alkalinity and things like that, which is going to give you faster coral growth, but you're going to lose a bit of colour. You know what I mean? So let's say, for example, if you want to go with the natural seawater route. Salts. <laughs> oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. I have to prompt him, but he's getting there. So if you want to go like the natural seawater route, um, salt wise, just type in salt. Um, just salt, because we've got a few on there, haven't we? Uh, yeah, so if you want to go natural seawater wise, then we've got two options, really. You've got the Tropic Marin Pro Reef Salt, so that is like natural seawater, German manufactured synthetic salt. You're like just decent salt. Or you've got this one down here, which is the Fritz Pro Mix, the blue box. Now there is also a red box, but the blue box is natural seawater-ish levels. Those two salts, they're the salts that I would personally recommend, hence the reason why they're on my website. They're the ones that, you know, I've used that one in my own personal life. I've also used that one in my own personal life. There's also another one by Fauna Marin, the company who do these ICPs, but it's borderline impossible to get hold of in the United Kingdom. So the next alternative to that is the Tropic Marin one, because again, German manufactured. You can't go wrong if it's German, can you? So those two are great if you go in natural seawater levels. And then if you want that elevated level, if you want a bit more faster growth, but you're not too fussed about, you know, the, col the colours of the corals looking ever so slightly drab in comparison to if you was running a lower alkalinity, then the red box, that's what you want to go for. That's got a higher alkalinity, which is going to give you a little bit more elevated growth, a little bit faster than what you would be getting with these guys here. So there's your options that are on my website. They're the ones that, are on the website because they're the ones that I would personally suggest. <sighs> um, 
Hiko, Hiko, do you deliver fish? Usually, yes. But obviously at the moment we're on a, a lockdown due to the coronavirus. So uh, the delivery companies are not accepting fish at the moment and they're not guaranteeing next day uh, either. So we can't ship fish at the moment. But once all this corona thing has sorted itself out and things start to get back to normality, yes, we will be shipping fish. We ship them all over the United Kingdom, no problem. Um, can I order a 52 litre aquarium? I live in Sweden. Don't know why I said it like that. Well, I do, because <laughs> it's mint. Yes, we can deliver uh, one of those to Sweden, not a problem. If you order one, um, how would shipping work? It's not much more, is it? They're not that heavy at all. Not that heavy at all. They're about eight to 10 kilos, if that. It won't, it, if, if you want one of the, wherever it's gone, the Fluvalevo 52 litre aquarium, then just literally just check out as normal, put all your address details in, and if shipping is any more, then we'll drop you a message to say, you know, we might need a couple more quid from you from shipping. Check out as normal on the website, buy the aquarium, we'll sort it out for you, we'll sort it out for you. But yeah, we can ship it to Sweden, not a problem. What? We also ship to Germany. Any European Union country, we can 100% ship to. Up until December, when we don't know what's going to happen in December. Nobody's talking about Brexit at the moment because we're all talking about Corona. So God knows. But yeah, any European Union country we can ship to. So if you want an aquarium or anything like that, we can ship it out to you um, in whichever country you're in, as long as it's like European Union or something like that. Um, Robert Ward has put higher levels more, uh, for more SPS, LPS. So higher levels, basically, yeah, if, if, you, if you do have um, corals in the tank that are skeletal corals, you know, that build their own skeleton, like euphilia corals, for example, lobophilias, you know, you know, acans and stuff like that on the LPS spectrum, or if you're on the SPS side of things, you know, basically everything, then, yeah, you know, you're going to get faster growth. But you are going to sacrifice a little bit of colour. Reason being is you're going to have a higher population of zoosynthelic living within the coral, if it's a photosynthetic coral, which zoosynthelic is brown. Basically, it's very various different shades of brown. So obviously, the more zoosynthelic, which is living in symbiosis with your coral, it's going to cover the natural colours of your coral which is going to obviously make the colours of the coral drab and brown. That's why sometimes you will see corals brown out, is because they've got a large population of zoosynthelic um, around them, and that's what, you know, browns them out. So if you obviously have a higher alkalinity, you're providing more food to the coral, which in turn, you know, spurs on the popu a larger population of zoosynthelic, which browns out your coral a little bit. Whereas if you run a lower alkalinity, there's less food, hence the reason why the coral doesn't grow as fast. It grows normal pace that you would expect it to grow. You know, this, when you put higher alk, is in an elevated speed, um, but you get nice colours. You get what colours you'd expect to get, you know, without being all, you know, shaded out with a brown Zeus in telly. So just a little bit of a balancing act. Good way to approach it. If you've got small corals and stuff, you know, run a high alkalinity at the beginning for the first year or so, get your corals nice and big. And then once you've got your corals to a size that you're happy with, then drop your alkalinity down. Or if you're not really bothered about them growing overly fast, because there is a little bit of a trade-off as well when you go a little bit faster, corals tend to be a bit more brittle. So normally if you've got a decent, like, let's say an Acropora, you try to snap the thing, you can't snap it because it's thick it's chunky and it's like oh whereas if you've been running an elevated tank for a long period of time as it's grown the interior of it will be a little bit more brittle it'll snap a lot easier it'll crumble a lot easier it'll be bigger but it won't be as strong so trade-off you know what i mean depends on what you want from it um let's see
Josh Powell has put, how are you holding up with this mental time, mate? Exactly that. It's driving me mental. <laughs> no, we're holding up. We're getting through it. Do you know what I mean? We're, uh, we're still here. We're still surviving. Do you know what I mean? So we're doing all right, but we could obviously be doing a hell of a lot better if people could walk through the door. And obviously, if we had the ability to, you know, push that a little bit harder. But, you know, we keep going. People like yourself coming on the streams and supporting us, it helps. Um, Brian Kurtz, is that how you pronounce it? Brian Kurtz has put best wishes from Seattle, Washington. I'm assuming it's Seattle, Washington in the US of A. Best wishes to you, my friend. I know that a lot of you guys are locked down as well over there and you're all trapped in the house like us. So, you know, heart goes out. Probably just hit the microphone and popped everybody's eardrums then. But heart goes out to everybody in this world right now because we're all going through it. We're all in the same situation. You know, we're all fighting the same fight. And for once, we're all equal. <laughs> so, you know... Guys, it's just, it's a crazy time. It really is. Brian, thanks for that super chat, mate. Much appreciated. And then if we scroll down, because I've just seen another one, Adam Lace. Now, Adam Lace, that name I've seen a lot over the past couple of weeks. Adam Lace, I'm going to give you an extra shout out here. I'm not even looking. Sorry, one second. I've got a customer call. <laughs> That's all you answer it. Answer that. So I can't read the chat right now. So Adam, I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to give you an extra shout out right now because Adam Lace has really, really been a massive supporter of Aaron's Aquarium so far. He's made purchases through um, the website. Obviously, he's dropped super chats and things like that. He's really, really been supportive of us so far. He's, I think, if I remember rightly, you are also on the WhatsApp group. I'm in and out on the WhatsApp group because I'm always quite busy with all of this type of stuff. But yeah, appreciate it, Adam. You're a star. Can't read your super chat right now because he's just took my phone. But there you go. I'm going to read this. Right. Nice shot. So yeah, so in the shop right now, we've got the Fluvalevo. So I've made a few changes to the Fluvalevo. Now, obviously, when I set up the Fluvalevo, I set the Fluvalevo up with what I had. So bits of rock that I had in my shed, you know, bits of equipment and, you know, stuff like that, that I had going spare. The sand, for example, that came with it was this white silica sand. And I didn't have any sand and I didn't want to buy any sand. So I just used that sand. That sand wasn't very good, if I'm honest with you. It got dirty very fast. It wasn't the best. So when I was bringing the Fluvalevo down to here, I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to strip it down and I'm basically going to start it again. To a point, you know, everything's still the same. You know, the biomedia in the back has still got all of the bacteria. So it's still as mature as it was, barring, you know, some bacteria. But what I've done is I've used the Tropical Marine Center um, rock for this Fluvalevo this time round. Um, it's like, you can get it in multiple different sites, but it's the way in which it's colored, it looks spot on. Will you get me some of that TMC rock so I can show it, please? Um, yeah, we've got some um, Tropical Marine Center rock, which is like, it's really, really detailed. Like looking at it, you would think that it is just like normal live rock that's been mature for X amount of time and it's got you know, coralline algae on it and stuff like that. It looks really, really good. I'll get a piece in a minute. So I've got the phone back now. So Adam's put, can't wait to get a coral order in. Fingers crossed we get back to normal soon. Well, we've definitely got three weeks of this. That's a, that's a standard. That's a given. After that, as long as people play nice and stay at home like they've been told, then, you know, hopefully. So this is the rock that I'm using in the Evo at the moment. <laughs> don't scratch the top <laughs> so this is the rock that like these are just the branch pieces so we haven't got any boulders in at the moment we need to get some in so you can buy each rock as an individual piece and it, oh nearly broke that one 
and it has a little tag on it so you know exactly what piece is what so this one is the 16 branch which is 19 by 12 by 30 centimeters so if you turn around to me and say have you got any of those uh, any of the 16 um, branch rocks in i go there you go i could just give you a 16 branch rock i know exactly which one it is because they're all the same and then this one i think is a 16 branch as well because it looks quite similar no this is a 17 so quite similar but ever so slightly different you can see there's a little bit of a cut out here and this one has got more like finger type branches where they're more enclosed so this is a 16 this is a 17 so these are the branches and then you've got boulders and plates and everything else and it's rock it's proper like made up you can see it crumbling away but the coloration i don't know how well you can see on the screen um but the coloration is really good the way that they've like colored it up and painted it and that it looks really natural and it looks even better in water so um that's a really good rock we still need to put this on the website as well to be honest um but that's that's decent that so that's what we're gonna that's what i've been using in the fluvalevo on the sort of like the revamp of the fluvalevo and this is also what i'm going to be using in the new fluval flex let's see if i can catch up Tom Littler, Aaron, I've got £2,500 to spend on a setup. What um, I want to do a 6 by 2 by 2 but not sure on a sump size or, this, or the power of the equipment. Need I need, i.e. skimmer, return pump, etc. Can you help? Um, yeah, of course I can. Best thing to do, though, is we'll spec it together. So if you drop us a message... On the, um, on the website, we have a chat now function. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just pop the website up. So you can see in the bottom corner there, we've got a chat now function. If you drop a message on there, um, if we're online, we'll talk to you right away. If we're not online, then you can just drop us a message and we'll reply back to you and then, or you can just give us a call and we'll go through it. But when it comes to a 6B2B2, you're gonna really be wanting a three or four foot I'd probably say, say a four foot sump to go with a 6B2B2. Um, skimmer wise, again, depends on what you want to go for, you know, what brand you want to go for. You've got things like uh, the Nios Quantum skimmers. Um, you've got like Bubble Magus if you don't really want to spend a lot. You've got um, the Max Spect Air Aqua Duo skimmer. You've even got things, no, I'm not going to say that one. But you've got thing, you've got loads of skimmers out there. So it's just finding out how much you want to spend and then how, you know, all these different types of things. And then we can put together a little plan for you and we can supply it all as well. So literally we can do everything for you. We just need to know, well, obviously you've got two and a half grand. So we need to know, is that including the tank as well? So two and a half grand for the tank and the equipment. If so, you're not going to get very far if I'm honest with you. But if it's not and it's just for equipment, then, you know, we might be able to go a little bit further. So drop us a message, mate, and we'll go through it. Who? Devin. I thought you said Evan. All right. Reef Dudes, nice new studio. Thanks, mate. Do you want to come in? I don't know if it'll work, but do you want to come on the stream? You can come. Do you want to be the first person on my screen? If you do... Drop, I think Hangouts is on. Just check if see if Hangouts is on. Just go to Chrome. See it there at the bottom. No, I can't find the mouse. Oh, can't find the mouse. There it is. Sorry, one second, Dev. All right, you have to open up a new window. Oh, you closed the window. Open it back up again. Yeah, well, there you go. It's back on. All right, right click Chrome. Open a new window. No. No. He's still learning. It's the same for your window there, is it? What's the one below it there, right down? All right, so I'll drag this window back over to you. This one, drag it back over to you. He's getting there. Give him a minute. <laughs> My laptop, you've got Echo on. Right, there we go. You've lost the window now. Click on Chrome again. No, because that's my window for the website. I can't get the staff. Right. <laughs> right. Now you're going to have to flip and press F11 again. There you go. Oh, my oh, God. Right. 
Now open, press the Chrome button. You could do it all over there without pressing F11. Right? No, because it's already open. Look, look at your Chrome button. No. Right, now it's popped up. Select any one of these two that you've already opened. Right. Yeah. Now drag that over to you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do it myself in a minute. Right. Now drag that one over to you. Seven, you're not coming on. Drag it over to you. Go on. It's coming, it's coming, right. it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Right, there. Hey. Yeah. Now come back to the, my website thing and click on the Chrome button at the bottom. You can click on your side. You're all getting a lesson here as well. Right. Full screen that. All over there, still. Yeah. Yep. F11 it. Bring the mouse over here, though, when you do it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, it didn't work. Press, yeah, the, press, right, press, this, press the mouse button, the left mouse button. God. Press the left mouse button. Right, now do it. Hey! Now! Open Hangouts over there, please. We got there in the end, kids. We got there in the end. Watching, not watching. Scroll down. There it is. I don't even know if he wants to come on. <laughs> hey, Dev, I don't even care if you don't want to come on. You're coming on now. He's there. That's his thing there. Oh, yeah. Call him. That's it. Video calling. I don't know if this is going to work. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Come on, Dev. Come on, Dev. We're calling you. <laughs> but if any of you guys do want to come on to Google Hangouts and have a bit of a chat with us on the screen, you can do. Is he on? I guess I'm committed now. He's committed. Now he's in. Is it? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, there we go. Look, it's working. Woo. They won't be able to hear you. They'll just um, slide that screen over here, please, mate. They won't be able to hear him because I've not got the uh, audio on. Give us a quick count, Dev. One, two, three, four, five. There he is, full screen in. Oh. Hey. Look at that, super professional. Seamless, that. It just went like ice. It was like butter for toast. <laughs> Look at that now, we've got a full screen. And if we want to turn myself off, and just have Devin's beautiful face totally on the screen, we can just do it that way. How wicked's that? Well, I'm not gonna do that because he's not having the full screen. So I'll swing, Dev. Fancy schmancy, how are you doing? Yeah, all good. Going well. Eggs. How's, how's things with you? Are, you? are you are you affected by corona or anything like uh, like that? Um, there's less outings. I work from home anyways, so I mean I still just work like crazy, so there's no change in that aspect. <laughs> <laughs> So are, are just you bit... having like lockdowns and stuff like that there? Um, not forced lockdown, but highly recommended social isolation type of deal. Yeah. How about you guys? How's things out there? Well, it was it was that way for us as well, where you know it was suggested to stay at home, you know, where you could, but people mm. weren't. So now it, it's been forced that you know for the next three weeks at least, we're only allowed out for essential reasons. You know, so mm -hmm. you need to go to get some shopping or do a little bit of exercise or whatever else. Um, luckily, yeah. obviously, I own a pet shop, and pet shops are part of. You're essential. I'm essential. Front line, front line, me, mm -hmm. mate. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, it's one of those where it's not ideal, but it's mm -hmm. what. You do what you got to do. He's watching you speak to him on the TV. When you're speaking to him on the TV. Yeah. All he sees is you looking at the TV speaking to him. Well, at the moment, all he can see, <laughs> is, all he can see is my logo because my camera is being used for the stream. Uh, okay, so he okay. can only see my logo, or he can watch or the stream and, the and stream. see me in thirty seconds time. So it looked like I was speaking, yeah. like a. Chinese it's a bit guy. of a delay. It's interesting. He, know, he, he knows it all because he he does all these live streams himself. Mm -hmm. So guys, seeing as though we've got Devin from Reef Dudes here, if you've got any questions for him, then ask away in the chat. Um, have a little bit of fun now because. We used to do a show, me, Devon, um, Inappropriate Reefer, and CJ's Aquariums. We used to do a show called The Four Reefers. Now, we've spoken many, many times about doing this show again. 
The only problem is, is Devon lives in Canada where basically you have to go back in time. For me, I have to go back in time to get to anywhere where he is because he, what time is it there for you now? Uh, 10 a.m. Or, or you just stay up past your bedtime, one of the two. That's it. So it's five o'clock in the evening for me right now and it's 10 a.m. for him right now. And then mm -hmm. um, Inappropriate Reefer and CJ Aquariums, they're like five hours behind. So it's probably like lunchtime for them, 12 o'clock now. So our time zones are just all over the place. So it's dead hard. So every now and then we might have an occasion like this where we'd be able to do it. But for reefers, we'd love to do it again. But I think the only way we could really do it is if we pre-record it. And yeah, that's fine. Maybe we'll just do it. I've been asked so it. many times for it again. So we should bring her back. I know, it was fun. I know. It was a lot of fun, especially when we did that um, the coral one, the beginner corals and stuff like that one, where mm -hmm. we were throwing curveballs in. That was fun when I turned around and said, yeah, Ramonti Pora is a good beginner coral. And everyone was like, oh, what? <laughs> so, Pretty much um, it. So we've, we've just missed out, haven't we, recently? We were supposed to be going to the Niagara Coral Show, weren't we? We were supposed to hang out and stuff like that. It didn't end up happening. We would have been there last weekend. Totally yeah, missed you. Weekend. Sad. Didn't get to do it. I know. Oh, well, are you? hopefully you can go when it, when's the new one. It is July. So hopefully that works out. So fingers crossed, July, everything goes well. We'll be going to Niagara. I'm quite looking forward to the July version of it because it'll be warmer. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, I really wasn't it's a, looking forward to the cold. No, it, it would have been cold. Um, it's going to be a way nicer time to visit Niagara. So it's probably a bonus because when I was at the last year's show, same thing, it was freaking freezing out because it was still like really cold, East Coast, winter-ish still. So I was like, oof. Yeah. So July will be good. It'll be more fun, I think, for yeah. us too. You should see me in the shop. Bearing in mind, we've got like two big coral bays running, two big fish bays running, and everything else. And I'm still like, I'm stood here in a t shirt at the moment, but we've had literally before we went live, the heater was running. Like, I am really? so soft when it comes to the cold, really soft. Seeing all your fancy new systems has been making me want to upgrade my frag tank because it's busting at the seams with coral. So that might happen. I'm looking oh. into it. We've got loads of coral now that is just sat there. So our coral is going to be just sort of like growing it. Our selling systems have now become propagation systems. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, yeah. you'll have more stock for later. That's it. That's it. It's positive to every negative, isn't it? Exactly. Bonus. Aaron's um, Aquarium see. Aquaculture. A square. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just sort of like once once everything goes back to normal, growing my own corals would be like printing money. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right. That will be good. What? I don't know why he does that. It's weird. You know, I'm using a, a lavalier mic at the moment, but if I turn it's around to face the screen, that you're right. It's because you're, well, you're looking away from it, or if you're looking forward, it's right below you, right? You look to the side, you're you're projecting away from it rather than I know, right beside it. Only ever so right. slightly, though. It's Silly. They're but finicky. Yeah. They're finicky. I'm, I don't really need to look at you anyway because you can't see me. <laughs> yeah, I got to stop watching the stream. It's just messing with me watching like <laughs> you talking and it's not in sync by like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, minimize a couple of the chat. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's just look at the chat. Um, yeah. What, let's see on the comments here what have we got. Um, Should set up a meet and greet. Well, come on out. We'll definitely meet up and hang out. It'll be good. Yeah, we was we was gonna do that at the uh, Niagara, weren't we? We was having a full, like mm -hmm. literally full meet and greet set up. It was gonna be me, Devin, Reef dudes, and mm -hmm. me, Lev's Reef. Um, us three were gonna do like a meet and greet session, Q and A session. We had a few games set up as well for us to all play and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But I'll have to save that now until uh, until July. Yep. Do you see? But, I don't know if I showed you that. Did you see my my fancy three D printed logo I made? For about my oh, whiteboard. Yeah, you've had that for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, I like it. Looks cool. We've got some three D printers here, so uh, I think I might see if I can get my logo made. Yeah. You should. We well, got the big cool one on in the front of your desk there, but uh, yeah, that one. You got wood. the that one's made from wood. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine did that one. Nice. Um, Is a fancy CNC? Yeah. No. Uh, no, I think he did it by hand. Ooh, he did ooh, CNC heck. the letters. But the thing, mm -hmm. actual thing, it was done by hand, which made it nice. even more special. That's cool. That's awesome. Let's have a quick look at this. The coral comments, why I see you have missed. Um, 
Aaron's Aquarium, you should get Devin and Mark in into a live show like y'all were going to do at the Niagara Call Show. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, obviously, Dev's set up to be able to do live streams like this, and I know Mark is because literally every Saturday he does a live stream now, and he's got all these fancy pop-ups where people's comments <laughs> pop up on screen and all that. that. So I know he's capable. We'll have oh, yes. And we'll see if we can put it together. But everybody's going to he's going to have to do it at 10 a.m. again because I'm not doing it late. <laughs> he's going to have to get up early rather than me stay up late. <laughs> I'll super chat you two pounds for a coffee. We'll catch you up late. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You don't have to because I've got a coffee machine here now and it's all free. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Sorry, no. We'll, 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 find, we'll find a good excuse. We'll make it happen. Yeah. I'll just have to drink some, uh, some of the flipping. What's that um, strong coffee that we've got? Espresso. Oh, yeah. That'll, that'll keep me going. Yes. Are you on, That's what I'm drinking. This is my second one today. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally be on the live stream going, ooh, I know 10 o'clock and he's on the second one for the day. How, how are you, your eyes would be like 20 million times wider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd be like. I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I normally have one or two a day. Usually one in the morning. I'll have one a bit later. I would love it. Have, I've only got four tanks, well, four systems in this shop, and I would probably have water changed them about 60 times in an hour if I'd have had two espressos by this time. <laughs> Think how much more productive you will be. You should invest in more espresso beans. Extra productive. Go. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's only, ours is only an instant machine. We're not that posh. We have got the bean uh, crushing ones. Okay. I got the little grinder. You go, me, you move it over, little tamp. Yeah, no. We've seen, we've, seen, we've seen your little montage on the start of one of your videos. Your little I haven't done those in a while. I like. <laughs> I haven't done one of those in a while. I lack free time these days. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I don't get really time to do. I used to love doing montages. They're fine. Right, they let's have a time. quick look at the comments. Let's see what what people are saying. Um, Andy H has put. I want to make an overflow um, with a top and a bottom inlet to prevent blockage for anemones. What would be the best? pipe system to use see this is this is a difficult one for me because we in the uk don't sort of like do the pipe systems that you do in the states like you have you have like what is it the herbie the bean animal and something else Durso. Durso, yeah we don't call it that we just sort of like say one pipe in an emergency or two pipes in an emergency that's all we we don't name same it. thing what's that same thing <laughs> same thing yeah but we don't put the names to it so I don't know what a herbie or a bean animal represents when it comes to the pipes, but um, if you was going to do that, then if you was going to have a sort of like a, a, a lower, you know, intake on your weight and an above intake on the weight, the pipe system which you use is just all dependent on what you want to use. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you was going to go like the, the couple of pipe methods, it's going to be a bit quieter, you know, you're not going to mm -hmm. get like as much gurgling or sucking yeah. of air and stuff yeah. like that. Never do one single drain, trouble. Um, yeah. Always have at least two, like a full siphon and a trickle. And if you want to be extra hardcore, add in an extra pipe is just strictly emergency. So what's that one then? When you have the, the full lot, you have like... Yeah, it's called bean animal. Bean animal, there you go. Right. Bean I animal. think it was, I think that was probably just like the form username of the, the first guy to like post it and share it. Right. That's probably why they call it that, but Fair basically enough. what it is. So that's mm -hmm. the bean animal. So go for the bean animal. animal. That's the best one. Google that. <laughs> oh? Let's you want me to turn my here? Do you want me to turn myself down a bit? Yeah, turn yourself down. You are peeking on my screen actually, but I can't touch it from here anyway. How's that better? It looks better on my levels. You're a little bit louder right. than me, but it's fine. Just All when right. he, when Dev talk, look at my levels and look at Dev's levels. This one is me. I am the green lights. I am your technology. Da, da, da. <laughs> See, the good thing about having him on as well is, is he can adjust his levels and sort everything out for me so I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to teach Ben how to do it all as well. I'm going to have to get Dev to teach him. <laughs> yeah. So I'll show you how it's Reef done. has said, the UK needs some more coral shows. Well, we ourselves are going to look at doing something here at Aaron's Aquarium. Again, once everything nice. levels out and once everything sorts out, we've got a lot of parking space out front, so there's plenty of space for people to come. 
The shop at the moment is quite small, but hopefully once um, once everything starts to roll and everything starts to get better again, we do have a lot of spare space to expand into. So we can make the shop twice as big if we wanted to. But at this moment in time, there's no real need for it to be twice as big. If it's twice as big, it's twice the cost. So there's no point at the moment. But once Corona's out of the way and life gets back to normal, then hopefully, you know, the shop will be nice and busy. All of you guys will be down spending all of that money <laughs> and we'll make the shop bigger. And then we'll do mm -hmm. a proper like big show. But we are going to do frag swaps. Um, that's something that we're definitely going to do. Again, once we were allowed to have groups of people in one place, we are going to, you know, allow people to come down, bring the frags down, swap and change between each other and just have a bit of a bit of a fun day out. So that'll be fun. Off to come visit one day, check out the shop, be good. Yeah, that's, well, you're definitely invited. So have you ever been to the United Kingdom? I have not. Have you not? No. It's like your second, like your second home. You're basically English. <laughs> 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 proper words, English. Proper English. It's proper English. <laughs> my cup of coffee. Cup of tea. He gets himself a cup of tea in the morning. Well, he should really be drinking tea, but he drinks coffee because he just likes to mingle with the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Americanos are good. Um, that'll be fun. Yeah, well, like I said, once once I get to write really big time and everything, I might fly you over. But at this moment, I can barely afford to, I can barely afford to feel the drive here. <laughs> so I'm not flying it, 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 yet. It would cost, yeah, I said it costs more to drive than a fly there. <laughs> but yeah, that would be, yeah. Up until recently, hopefully, fuel hopefully. prices have gone down. So fuel prices mm. are all right now. Um, but when we first started building the shop and setting everything up, fuel prices were quite high. And probably for me to get here, like all week, it would probably be cheaper for you to fly here. <laughs> That's how much oh, it yes. Was. It's come down quite a lot now, so it's not too bad. Nice. Yeah, it's super, it's the cheapest I've seen it here in like 10 years, probably. Yeah, same for us. It's like we had one spell a couple of years ago for like two days where it dropped below a pound. So, like, nice. Just, but at one point it was like one pound 50 for a, for a liter, only one liter as well. You get it a lot cheaper than we do, and the Americans, oh my god, the price free. they pay for fuel, insane. Almost free. Almost like free, yeah, basically, it's like electric cars. <laughs> yeah, a few weeks ago, I think it was like a buck twenty a liter, now it's like 98 cents or something. I haven't seen it at a dollar in like years. So, good. if you're paying, let's say for example, if you're paying 98 cents a liter, your exchange rate, you know, I think... Canadian, like it's a lot higher. So your yours is like double us. So it'd be like fifty p a litre for us. You know, oh, if we was pay, if we was paying fifty seven cents at the fifty pounds sterling is that the same? 50, I just put in pounds. Fifty seven cents. Fifty five pence. Fifty five pence, which is like fifty five cents, should we say? But fifty five pence. That's how much we would be paying per litre if we was paying your fuel prices. But we're not. We're paying one pound eight a liter at the moment. So we're paying more than double what you pay for fuel. Yeah, I mean this is cheap right now. It's normally a lot more, but yeah. But if it goes up for you, it goes up for us. <laughs> yeah, true. Fair point. So, um, Andy Dawson's put. I really wanted a large tank, but floor won't support it as I live in a townhouse. Living room on the middle floor. Are nano tanks fun or boring because they are limited in terms of stocking? To be honest, if you would have asked me that question two, three years ago, I would have gone, no, don't bother with a nano tank. But recently, I've really found a passion for nano tanks for a few reasons. They're cheap. Do you know what I mean? Especially in the time now that we're, you know, we're in, you can fully kit out, fully stock out, make an absolutely stunning nano tank for a fraction of a cost if you was to get like a four foot and have just this visually striking tank there and then water changes it's nothing it's a little bit of water out a little bit of water in you can get a 25 liter or five gallon barrel of water it can last you weeks mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what oh. i mean so 
Whatever. The thing is, yeah, like even my Red Sea now, like I love that tank was such a cool tank. It looked amazing. And I like all the micro life is awesome, but it, it's so cheap to maintain it. Like literally you could do a five gallon water change, one bucket a week, and that's 100% water change a month. And a bucket of salt would last you ages. Like it's hard to beat. Yeah. And if you didn't see his purple pond nano, <laughs> if you didn't see his, it was stunning. He had about a million rock flower and enemies in it um all sorts of just real beautiful bright you know moving it was really really nice tank and again it's, it's not massive you know what i mean um like i said on the website you can get the uh, water box 20 or the water box 10 the water box 10 is 130 pounds it's nothing it's cheap as anything and what you can do with it is insane Especially if you throw something over it, like a decent light, like maybe like an AI Prime or even an AI, is it a 26 or whatever they're on now? I don't know how many chips yep. they're on nowadays. Um, but yeah, something like that. An XR15 you could put above it and then the world's your oyster. There is literally no limits. You could grow anything in there. <laughs> so yeah, go for a Nano. You know what I mean? I'd have one, definitely. If I was in a townhouse like yourself, I'd have one. I've got one. I've got... Uh, I've got the um, Fluval Evo. I'm going to be setting up in the shop as well a Red Sea. Uh, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what did I hear? Oh, I should not. <laughs> That's because you said it that you made me slip. <laughs> I'm going to be setting up a water box um, 20 in the shop, I think. Or I might do so it. I'm not too sure. Yet. So, so, what you're saying is you're just writing over the logo with a jiffy marker? <laughs> Yeah, let's like that. Just rub it out. Just rub it out. <laughs> Water box. <laughs> yeah. Did I spell it right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, nano tanks are spot on. They're really good. They're okay. Mm -hmm. No, na nanos are fine, and you could do a lot with them. Um, Your camera's lost here. You've gone blurry. There, he there you go. go. He's back. He's back. <laughs> good old web camera. I gotta figure yeah. out how to pipe the good camera out. To be honest, I've got um I'm still using the Logitech camera in here now, but because I've got so many lights and it's all bright in here, it works pretty well. Nice. Um, I got um yeah. OCD Reefer said I was looking at getting the 20. If you want a 20, we can have the 20 delivered to your door within a matter of days. So if you nice. want a water box 20 or you want a water box 10, we can literally have it shipped to your door. In a matter of days, not a problem at all. Go over to whereasaquarium.com and get yours today. <laughs> you shipped to Canada. Uh, no. <laughs> Dang. I don't Worth think you try. actually need to. Have you not got a water box distributor in Canada? No, not yet. I had to get mine from the States. Oh, did you? I know I know that's coming. This hasn't come yet. <laughs> right. Hopefully, probably this year, once Corona figures its life out. <laughs> Quickly, please. Quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hurry up. Finish your life cycle. Die off. Carlos has uh, put, I've got three water box 30 nano tanks, Andy. Put them in a separate in separate rooms with different fish. There you nice. go. I didn't know they did a 30. <clears throat> oh, he said he meant 20. Uh, All right. I was going to say mm. I didn't know they did a 30. Um, water changes are done by the um, dose, which is the Neptune, I assume. The Neptune dose. Yep. So nice and easy. You can just have auto water changes if you've got one of those things. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, you're set. Yeah, don't even have to worry about it then. Just leave it to do its own thing. You can just come home from work every day. Honey, I'm home. Oh, the water changes is done. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. I set mine up for auto water changes on the new tank, which I've wanted to do for years. So finally got it going. And then every, every night it does like a gallon and a half or something like that. It's great. So how how are you finding it then, like with stability and stuff? Like, is it bob on? You know, everything's fine. Have you got the do you know the salt water that you're using for your water change? Mm -hmm. Have you got it preheated? Or are you just like no? Because it's such a small amount, it doesn't really matter, right? Because I told the to do over two hours, so a gallon and a half over two hours is like nothing. Yeah, there's like zero too. impact on the tank. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. See, yeah, I've I'd... always wanted to do that as well, but all my tanks have always been dead big. You know, so it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you could be going through a bucket of salt a month um, mm -hmm. and only doing like a 10% water change uh, a, a week, which isn't really 
you know, 40% a month, it's not even really worth doing. You know what I mean? Well, it is. It is worth doing. But, <laughs> well, you, know, it, you get more value than not doing it. <laughs> that's what I mean. You get more value than not doing it, but I'd rather do more. You know what I mean? But it's just too expensive. Mm-hmm. Stop doing that. That's how I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering why I'm looking that way, by the way, and not looking at the camera, because if I turn around and look at the screen that Devin's on, then my microphone doesn't pick me up properly. So if I stay facing forwards, but I look ever so slightly side, there's a window there. So when customers are in the shop, they can watch me do my thing behind the counter. Um, but he's reflecting on the window, so I'm able to watch him without turning my head. So that's the reason why I'm not looking at the camera, and I seem we'll, to be staring into space. I'm looking at the reflection. <laughs> we'll, get you, we'll get you a little mirror and put it by the camera so you can that's see the what screen. I need. I'm utilizing yeah. the space. All right. <laughs> um, what's wrong with the audio? Why is there an audio problem again? I think we're good. Is, that, is the thingy still on? Where's my receiver bit? Make sure that make sure that's pointing at me and not there's nothing in front of it because that might be it. Because it's 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 a weird receiver. Whereas if it if it gets out of sight of me, it just cuts off. It's not it's not a mm-hmm. posh one. Um right, what else have we got? Um hi, if I put extra biomedia in the sump, will I get a nitrate spike? No, you won't. Um if you put extra biomedia in the sump. Basically, it's going to get used or it's not going to get used depending on your bio load. Currently, as if your ammonia is zero, your nitrites are zero, then there's enough bacteria in your aquarium right now to cope with the amount of bio load in your system. So if you put more bacteria, just providing more homes for more bacteria if and when you need it. So say, for example, if you add new fish, or if you start feeding a little bit more, you will create more ammonia, which in turn will create more bacteria that consumes ammonia and it'll have somewhere to live. Nitrate, you'll get more nitrate the more you put in, basically. You know, the more stuff you put in will break down, it will turn into ammonia, it'll turn into nitrite, and eventually it will turn into nitrate. And if you don't have a means of removing that nitrate, it will, you know, you'll look like you'll get a spike because the numbers will go up to what you're used to. It's just a cause and effect, effect thing. If you put something in, you're going to get something back out, so to speak. And that thing that you're getting back out is nitrate. So, you know, mm. just be mindful that if you are going to put more fish, more food, more whatever in, it will become nitrate at some point. So you will get larger amounts if you don't have the ability to remove it. Decent medias like... <laughs> it's got the sweets. Decent medias like the max spec media... Um, Things like, um, what's that big block media called, Dev? They're Marine Pure. Marine, Marine Pure is the common one. Brightwell has one. Maxpect has one. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch Bra- of out there. Yeah, so all of those decent medias like Marine Pure, the Maxpect Bio Blocks, um, the Brightwell Blocks, you know, all those different types of medias are going to provide places for anaerobic bacteria to live. Anaerobic bacteria will consume nitrates. So if you've got enough space for anaerobic bacteria, then your nitrates will stay low as well. You can actually really maintain nitrates quite well with just biomedia alone, as long as you have enough of it. Um, so Adam Lace says the audio sounds fine on his end. Um, Carlos has put, Aaron, how is the wife tank looking? It's completely bare at the moment. We're just waiting for the Aquascape to arrive from Reef Tank Aquascapes. I've got a real, real nice Aquascape planned for the wife. Did you know that the wife's back, Devin? I just learned that. I I thought they're talking about it in its future home. I have to recall you mentioning that it might be coming back a while ago. So she's back, eh? She's back, yeah. She's she's going to the shop? We're going for it again. We're having a second chance. We're trying to rekindle the love. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah so the, the the guy that built the aquascape that's currently in the one um you know wait 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 huh? is the wife number two still at home or i guess that's the one is that the real one the real wife the human wife she's still at home just about no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the wife tank, that's here <laughs> it gets confusing 
<laughs> it does. It does. It's hard to keep up with. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, we, we're having an Aquascape built um, by Reef Tank Aquascapes, the company that built the Aquascape that's in my tank at home, the one. Um, nice. They're building us a three-piece Aquascape for the wife. Now, what I've decided to go for is just something a little bit different again. Um, of, you know, sticking with the minimal theme, I really like minimal um, aquascapes. We're going bonsai with this one. Mm -hmm. So basically, I've selected a few bonsai trees, basically dead mm -hmm. bonsai trees, that I really, really like the shape of, you know, with the branches and the curvature and the bases and stuff like that. I've selected um, some images and basically said, turn those into aquascapes. The great thing about Reef Tank Aquascapes is he can. <laughs> and he can nail it. So I basically give, he's going to be doing me two identical aquascapes, which are going to be for the left mm -hmm. and the right side. And then I'm going to have one fancy aquascape in the middle, which is this fancy curved um, bonsai tree. <clears throat> and basically mm -hmm. when we put Acropora and things like that on this center scape. The way in mm -hmm. which the scape is shaped, you won't see the scape. So the Acropora will literally look like it's floating. That's the place. Nice. And the scape itself sweet. that you do see, that's going to be a little bit gravity defying. You'll be looking at it thinking, how's that not falling over? <laughs> so that's the plan for the wife. So it's going to be a real, real cool Acroscape. Can't wait. Nice. That'd, that'd be awesome. Yeah, can't wait. And I don't have to do it myself, so... Not like you, you know, 50 renditions of an aquascape before you decide on what you're going to go with. You know what I mean? I can just get him to do it for me and I don't have to mess about. It's dead easy. Slacking. <laughs> slacking. That's it. You know, why, why do it yourself when you can get somebody else to do it? <laughs> yeah, fair. Right, time wheel. Have Thank you that logic. Time to start there. That'll do. I think that'll do for today. An hour and a half. We'll do. We'll do. That'll do. Guys, Devin, first of all. Thank you for joining no problem. us and testing out to make sure that this all works and it does. So now we can have more guests on the live streams. Now I know that it actually works and everything's fine. So appreciate that. Perfect. No problem. Guys, it's been awesome again, as always. Thank you all so much for watching the live stream. I know it's been a little bit earlier. It's caught a lot of people off guard. Um, it's probably going to continue around about this time whilst we're on Corona lockdown. Uh, once everything gets back to normal, I'll go back to the usual time of 7.30 p.m. But for now, basically, I'm just going to spring it on you. On a Friday, when I feel like streaming, I'm just going to stream. <laughs> that's how it's going to be. Go on, what? I said no, solid option. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Until everything's all leveled out and everything's sorted, I'm just going to just spring it on you for now because I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I don't even know if I'll be here next Friday. It might have to be a smartphone live stream from that house don't know we'll see mm. guys thank you so much as always thank you so much for your support and helping us keep this shop going during this time again if you are buying any of your aquarium gear anything you know if possible support your local um, aquarium shop if you are shopping online shop with us shop at uh, <laughs> aaronsaquarium.com if there's anything that you need that you can't currently see on the website, it might be just because we've not gotten around to put it on the website yet, or we haven't got it yet, but we can get it for you. Drop us a message. If there's something that you want, we can borderline get it for you. So there is more or less anything that we can get for you. Just ask us if it's not already available on the website. Again, thank you for your support. It's much appreciated. I hope that we can keep pushing forwards. I don't see any reason why not. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through it together. And hopefully in however long this Corona thing is going to take, we'll be able to get you all down here. Free brews, chats. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Guys, thank you so much for today. I'm going to go home now. I'm going to go and eat something new that I've discovered in Staffordshire. Oat cakes. What did you discover? Oat cakes. You ever heard of an oat cake? Nope. All new to me. Until about a week ago. It's a, it's, it's a delicacy, shall we say, from the area that I'm in right now. So this shop <laughs> that I've opened is in, in my area where I live. It's an hour away from where I live. And they have mm. this. It's like a pancake. Best way I can explain it. Yeah. What? Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, it is. He's getting annoyed. <laughs> he's getting annoyed because it's like, no, it's not a pancake. How dare you? But basically, to me and you, it looks like a pancake. But it's made from oats. It's made from wholemeal flour, if I remember right. And it's made from a few different things. It's not sweet like a pancake. So I had one the other day with melted cheese in it and bacon. Oh, mm -hmm. it was decent. So I've, nice. some, I've bought some and I took them home. So I'm going to have that tonight. That's what I'm having for my tea. So there you go. Um, Sounds delicious. It does. It does. It is actually. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to go like that. Again, waffling on, going on with myself. Never end things when I'm supposed to end it. So I'm going to do it tonight, right now. <laughs> See you all next week. Make sure that you keep an eye on the YouTube channel. I think I'm going to put a video out on Sunday. Just a little quick video on the Flu Levo. And then I'm probably going to throw up live streams as and when I can throughout next week when I'm here in the shop. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Don't go out unless you need to go out. Let's all get through this together and we can live our lives again. See you later, guys. Yep. Later.